Amundsen is older than I am, oddly enough. It's kind of one of those, you know, just key animal health products that comes along not very often. There aren't many cattle that are fed today that don't receive Remensen. One of the things that's impressed me with Alanco over the years is the determination to do quality science. You know, while people may think of cattle feeding as not, uh, you know, not that scientific, it actually is a highly scientific operation. There's a lot of things going on, a lot of moving parts. We're dealing with biology, which is highly variable. The type of diets that we feed today to get the efficiency that we're looking for in cattle requires a product like Remensen to you know, even out room and fermentation. I've heard others say that we really couldn't feed cattle the way we feed cattle today without Remensen in the, in the ration. It's a constant battle to try and keep science in the forefront, but uh, to me it's, it's, it's the truth. As you look at the applicability of data and extrapolation of data, then our producers here in Canada, our consultants recognize that there are geographical differences across North America, around the world, and you, know, you really aren't quite comfortable with the, with the outcome until you've actually tested it in that situation. For a product that's as, as mature or been around as long as Remensen to still be conducting research and figuring out more effective ways to use the product in feedlot rations is, is quite amazing. Without products like Remensen, I honestly don't know how we could put cattle in a feedlot like we do today.